Okay guys, so these are all of my ColourPop um, lippy sticks. All of them. I know I have a ridiculous amount. But these are the ones that I wear the most. I love this formula. They always look good. When I reapply them, they reapply beautifully. So bear with me the fact that I'm probably not going to get rid of very many. Just so you know. So, okay, let's just start. This is in the shade Skimpy and it is the Glossy Formula. Like, it just, it's so skimpy, right? Like, I just, I love these. Um, I'm going to put that aside to think about and see if I have any other similars. This is in the shade Juice Bar, and it is a sheer formula. Um, it's not my favorite. I actually am going to get rid of this one. I never wear it. Okay, this one's in the shade Poppin'. It is a matte X formula, which is my favorite, and it is a poppin' color. Love this one. I'm going to keep that. This is in the shade Topanga, and it's a satin. This one's one of my favorites as well. I wear that one all the time. Very, like, one of the first ones I purchased was a Topanga. That's yet since been a refill, but this is in the shade Contempo, and it is a matte. I like this one as well. Ah, no! It's okay. This one's in the shade BFF, and it is a glossy formula, if I can get it up. Wow, the glossy formulas are really not my favorite. I'm going to put that aside. This one's in the shade Tootsie, and it is a matte formula. I haven't actually even swatched this one yet. Oh, look at that brown. I love that. I'm going to keep that. This is in the shade Cookie. This is a matte. This one's one of my absolute favorites. Look at that. It's like the perfect nude. I love this one. Um, this is in the shade Safari, and it is a sheer... It's like a very orangey red. I only kept one other orangey red like that, and that was a Smashbox liquid gloss, so I think I'm going to keep that one. This one's in the shade Aquarius, and it's a matte. This one's one of my favorites. I'm going to say that about all of these, okay? Because I love these. <laughs> I wear them all the time. This is in the shade Hype Girl, and it is a matte. Yeah, definitely keeping that as well. This is in the shade Bitchette, and it is a matte. Wore that the other day out to dinner. Loved it. Topless, and it is a matte X. This is one of the brighter colors, and I'm not going to ever wear that. It's like an orange color. I'm just not my style. This is Button. It's a satin. Beautiful color. Julep, and it is a cream. Beautiful. Like, I never wore that, I don't think. It's so pretty, though. I'm going to keep that one. This is Oh Snap, and it is a matte. Yeah, beautiful. This is Bound, and it is a glossy formula. This is one of the glossy formulas that I know I really, really like. Keep that one. This is Brink, and it's a matte. Beautiful. This is Razor, and it is a matte. This was from the collab with... Who was it? I don't know, but I don't really like that one as much, actually. It's very similar to Brink, but I like Brink a lot, so I'm going to get rid of that one. This one's in Barely There, and it's a matte X formula. Super, super bright pink. I love this one. This is in Faded, and it is a cream. Beautiful. This is in Hollywood Boulevard, and it is a matte X. If you guys can tell, I like totally... If you guys can tell, I like totally broke the top off this because I was wearing it the other day, and I pushed a little bit too hard, and the top just broke right on off, but... This is like a poop brown color. Like, that's the worst way to <laughs> describe lipstick ever. But that's exactly what this is. It's like a poop brown. It's like the best brown. I love it. This is Cami, and it's the Max, Matte X formula. This is arguably my favorite one. Like, if somebody asked me, I had to get rid of every single lipstick I own except for one lipstick in my entire collection that I've ever owned, it would probably be the Cami Matte X formula on, in the ColourPop lippy sticks. This one's my favorite. So of all of these, I like I say that all of these are my favorite, but truly, like 
If I was to literally only be able to buy one ColourPop lippy stick for the rest of my life, this would be the one. Love it. This one's in Boys Town and it is a cream. Beautiful. Honestly, a lot of these are very, very similar in color, but I'm keeping them because I wear them all the time. So my plan is to start putting these in my projects so that I can start getting them out of my collection, especially the ones that are duplicates. This one's Love Life and it's a matte X formula. Such a beautiful red. This one's Drop Top and it is a cream formula. Beautiful, love that. This one's Elier and it's a matte. Such a pretty like berry matte. I don't have very many like that so I'm gonna keep it. This is Polite Society and it is a matte. I wear this one quite often. It's a super like orangey nude but I really do like it. This one's Pillow Talk and it is a matte X. Holy crap, did you guys see that? Okay. The matte X formulas are very, very dry formulas, but they are not dry on the lips. It's the weirdest thing. I love them. Definitely keeping that. This is Frida, it's a satin. They discontinued this color and I was so pissed because I loved this color so much. So I'm definitely gonna keep that and use it up. This is Kiddo, it's a sheer. I hate it when people call me Kiddo. It makes me wanna break their face, but I really do like this color, so I'm gonna keep that. This is LBB and it's a matte. This one's more of a wine berry color. Um, I do wear this one, so I'm gonna keep it. This is Konnichiwa and it is a cream and it was from the Hello Kitty collection. Beautiful, beautiful pink cream. <clears throat> this is sure, sure Thing and it is also a cream. Beautiful. I don't know if you guys are seeing how these swatch, but they swatch so amazingly well. This is Baywatch and it's a matte. I actually just got this one. I haven't even swatched it yet. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. Keeping that guy. This is Fab Five, and I actually wore this the other day and I did not enjoy it. Like for some reason that color was just really off on me, but I'm willing to give it another chance because my lips were super dry when I wore it. So it went on really patchy and also I did not wear a lip liner with it. So I really want to give that another shot. This is Birdie and it's a cream. Super bright pale pink, like a really, really pale pink. Love that one. Okay, and then these are the three kits that I opened up. Um, Skimpy, I think I'm going to get rid of Skimpy and keep BFF. Those two on the side that I had put away. So these are all brand new. Let me just look at the colors really quick and make sure I don't have any duplicates. So I have a duplicate here in Baywatch and I think I'm gonna give this to my sister-in-law. I think she would love, or not my sister-in-law, my brother's girlfriend and I think she would love this. And then I have a Cami X in here which I'm not gonna swatch but I'm gonna keep because I love Cami. And then these, I do have a couple duplicates. This is LBB, I'm gonna get rid of this one. It is a duplicate and I don't need another one of those. And then I have Brink and Cookie, but those are two of my highly, highly used colors, so I am gonna keep the duplicates of those. And then, let's see what else. None of these are duplicates, so I haven't tried any of those. So let's start swatching these. <laughs> This is Pack Pack and it's a matte X formula. Wow, that's like a brown purple. I've never tried a color like that. I'm gonna keep that. This is Parker and it's a matte. Oh, beautiful, pretty, love it. This is, oh, Cami. I'm gonna keep that one. This is Weekender and it is a matte X and it's a red. Ooh, I love that red. That's a bright, nice red. This is Tutu and it is a matte. It's a very purple matte. Let's see. So I don't have anything like that deep, deep purple color. So I'm gonna keep that. Oh, this is Cookie and Brink. I'm gonna keep those. 
bossy and this one's a matte it's another red this one's more of a pink red though i'm gonna keep that this is grunge and it's a matte Ooh, pretty i want to wear this one right now this one's really pretty this one's i heart this and it is a matte Ooh, pretty that's a pink matte that's a summer color for me this one is La Freak, and it's a matte X formula, my favorite. Ooh, that one's really, really nice. It is like a brown purple, but it's got more of the brown undertone than the purple undertone. I'm going to keep that. This is Goldie, and it is a matte X. Ooh, that's really pretty, too. It's like a brick red blue color. I like that. This is Daydream, and it is a matte X. Ooh. God, I'm, like, loving all these. This is my problem. This is why I can't get rid of makeup. And then this is Hotline, and it is a matte X. Pretty. I know I literally have similar colors, but I use these. This is Ziggy, and it is a matte X. That one's super pretty. I really, really like that one. Oops, I just dug it into the lid. Dang it. I've done that so many times today. Oh, it's the worst. And then the last one I have here is Upside Down, and it is a matte X, and it looks like I've swatched this one. I don't know if that's a color I'll wear, but I'll definitely try it out, and if I don't like it, then I will declutter it after I try it out. Yeah, I did a really bad job with decluttering. <laughs> because... These are all the colors I'm keeping. <laughs> Honestly, I don't feel bad about it. I paid my own money for all of these items. And to be completely frank with you, I love this formula. I love this lippy sticks. They last a long time. I haven't had any of them break down on me. They look great. They're only costing $5. I think it's totally worth it to have this many for an, a variety of colors. So... Yeah, those are all my colors there, you guys can see. And I have already wiped off my hand, so yeah. I'm really, I'm really, really happy about all of the colors I have in my collection. Honestly, I don't think I could have done any better. So that is all the ColourPop Lippy Sticks colors that I kept. <laughs> this is going to be my bullet lipsticks and other category and then I realized as I was taking stuff out I have a few liquid lipsticks in here as well so I'm just going to go through those quickly. So first off I can see this Jouer and this is in the shade Rose Gold. It's a liquid lipstick. I'm going to keep that. This is the Liquid Cat Suit by um, Wet n Wild and it is the shade Nudist Peach. I Everyone loves these and I just didn't love this. Like I don't know if my formula was just like the color I chose, which probably is, um, but I just, I don't love this. So I'm going to get rid of this. Where's the other one? Here's the other liquid lip. It's in, it's from the brand Trust Fun Beauty and it is in the shade Method to My Madness. And I feel like I wore this the other day and it's more of, yeah, this is not a liquid lipstick. This is a gloss. So I am going to put this in my gloss bin. I really do like this gloss though. Okay, so trying to look and make sure there's no more liquid lipsticks. Oh, right here. This is from NARS and it is in the shade Bound. I love this one. I got this little sample size. I think I'm going to put this in my gloss formula though um, because it is more of like a glossy type of lipstick. So I'm going to put that with my glosses. Okay, now I think we're good. Okay, first off, I am going to keep this whole Bite Beauty set here. It's in the shade Honeycomb, Sugarcane, Rhubarb, and Cayenne. I just got this, so I'm definitely going to keep this whole set. Same thing with the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick Minis. I got all of these. Let me read you the shades really quick here. So we have the shades Famous... Primrose, Witchy, Audition, which is my favorite, Fig, and Legendary. So those are the colors here. I'm definitely keeping all of those with the Instamat little lipstick thing. Okay, any new ones? I also just bought this Tarte 
um, Rainforest of the Sea lipstick in the shade Set Sail. I wore this the other day. Beautiful, beautiful color. Sorry, I got off screen there for a second, but I love this one. Also, this little mini here of the same type. This one's in the shade Rum Punch, and I love this one as well. It's such a beautiful nude brown. Okay. So, this lipstick I kept because it's like a really bright pink. It's from Real Her. See how bright pink that is? Like, I don't love it and I don't hate it. Like, it's the weirdest thing. I just, I like it. But I really don't like the formula. So I wanted to see if I could find a pink that was similar to this. Otherwise, I'm going to keep this one because I don't, I like that kind of pink. So this is the Tarte. In, what is this? The Amazonian Butter Lipstick in Pink Peony. And let's swatch this one. This one's a very sheer, sheer formula. Sorry about that. This is a very sheer formula. I like this one a lot and I love the brand Tarte, so I'm definitely keeping that. This is a Sephora lipstick. What shade is this? Um, it is the Sephora Rogue, Rogue Brilliance lipstick and it doesn't have the shade but it is a pink color just like the real her so but it's a very sheer pink um i think i could probably use this up in my project pan coming up next year so i'm gonna keep that then i have this little bite beauty multi stick in the shade brioche i have not even swatched this yet oh yeah that's such a beautiful color for me really like that one then I have this NYX uh, Butter Lipstick in the shade Boardwalk. I don't love this color, but I really do like this formula. Like, this color is just off for me. Like, that's such a pale color. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. This one I absolutely love and adore. It's the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick in the shade Almond Nude. And obviously, as you can tell, I like flattened down the top. I love this one. It's like the perfect color to use and you can reapply it and it's just the best. And I think this is like a little sample size and I got like a really fair amount in here. I want to buy some more but I don't really need any more right now but when I'm in the market for more I'm definitely going to buy this brand. I really like this one. Then I have another Tarte one. It is It, it is the quench lip rescue in the shade nude i'm not even sure where i got this but i obviously haven't even swatched it yet oh it's just like a lip balm okay cool so i'm gonna keep that i love lip balms I wear them all the time okay then i have the urban decay what is this comfort matte lipstick in the shade 1993 if you guys are not familiar with the shade you should get yourself familiar familiar with it because it is beautiful love this one wear it all the time this one is in the shade big bang and it is a metalized and i got this in that little sampler kit and i'm not sure how i feel about it but it's such a fun color like i don't know it's it's so fun i'm gonna try it out and see if i like it i haven't tried it yet Okay, um, then I just got this little hourglass one. Um, I love this type. Haven't tried it yet. It is in Influencer. I'm going to try that out. <clears throat> How many of these do I have? So I have four of these BH Cosmetics Cream Luxe lipsticks. I really do like this formula. Um, let's see. That's a beautiful pink. Like, such a beautiful nude pink. Love that one. I haven't worn it in a while because of all these other ones that I have. This one's in Red Truffle. Ooh, look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. I'm going to keep that one. These aren't as creamy as some of my other ones are, but they're a really good option for drugstore prices. This one's in the shade Toasted, and it's got like a, a sparkliness to it. It's really, really pretty. I like that one. Man, I'm going to end up keeping like everything. <laughs> this is in the shade Foxy Gold and this one's really pretty too. Alright, I'm going to keep all those. I'm not doing good with my declutter, guys. Sorry. 
This is my Rimmel, what is this called? Rimmel Lasting Finish Lipstick in the shade 070 Airy Fairy. And it's like a just a plain nude color. Pink nude, really like this. Super like perfect for every day for work. Um, this is my Rimmel Lasting Finish by Kate lipstick in the shade 14. There's no like name on here. Yeah, there's no name on here. It's just the shade 14. This one's just a nude as well. Really, really pretty nude. Love that. This is the Ultra Matte lipstick in the shade Mulberry. I can tell you I'm probably going to get rid of this. When I tried this, I really did like it. Sorry. When I tried this, I really did like it, but it was very patchy for me. So I'm going to get rid of this one. This is the Tarte Drench Lip Splash lipstick in the shade Skinny Dip. And this is super annoying to me that the plastic came like out of the lid. I don't know. It just drives me crazy. But I have worn this a couple times. It's just a very like regular, like orangey nude color. I do like it. <clears throat> I'll keep that one. This one I just got in that little sampler kit. It's from Laura Mercier. And it is in this shade Sensual. Really pretty orangey nude gonna try that one out. This is the Bite Lipstick in the shade Honeycomb. I know I have another one in the shade Honeycomb, but I love this shade, so I'm gonna keep that. Okay, this is my absolute favorite lipstick. I don't know ever, but like I love this one. This is the Smashbox Be Legendary, Be Legendary Lipstick in the shade Audition. It's like the most beautiful nude. Like, <laughs> I love this one. And it would work for so many different skin types. Love that. These are my two little Marc Jacobs sample sizes. This is in Kiss, it, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And this is in Slow Burn. I want to get the full size of Slow Burn. I love it so much. Like, I don't even want to waste it on a swatch. I'm so sorry. But I love this one. I was going to get some at the... Um, VIB sale, but I'll just wait for the next one because I obviously don't need any more lipsticks right now. And this one's in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. It's just like the brighter nude red color. Love that. Keeping. I keep scooting up because I'm getting so far away. Okay, this one. What is this? These are all by Maybelline. Sorry, these are all by these these ones here are all by Maybelline and this is number 755 Nude Thrill. I think this one was like too light for me. Yeah, I don't think I love this one. I don't remember though. See, a lot of these I haven't worn in so long that I don't remember. Um, this one's in the shade Gone Grage. I love this one. If you guys watch Ashley Elizabeth at all, she talks about Gone Grage all the time. It's such a beautiful brown grage, which is a really brown grayish <laughs> brown gray color and then this is um, raging raisin I really like this one as well such a beautiful like raisiny I don't know red color really do like that you know what I do like this formula I'm gonna keep all these and use them up this one's from YSL and it is in the shade zero one is that the shade yep zero uh, yeah, this is in the shade 01. It's just a red color there. I'm not going to swatch it because I have a bunch of reds right now, but I do want to try that one out. This one's from Makeup Forever, and it is in the shade C211, and it is just a really pretty mauve nude. I haven't tried that one yet either. This one, all right, I have a bunch from Wet n Wild here, so let's go through our wet and wild colors this one is in the shade cherry frost these little one dollar and two dollar i think these are all the one dollar wet and wild colors but they are so good like that's really pretty i'm not going to keep this one because i'm not going to wear this red um that's just not my cup of tea for red so but i love this formula this one is in dark pink frost and i know i'm going to keep this one i do wear this one such a pretty like metallic frosty pink color you got to be careful with these lids though because they're like angled so weirdly that you just like jab into the product all the time or at least i do maybe i just don't know how to open or close them this one's in the shade breeze love that one just a really plain nude color for all over the lips 
This is in the Mega Last formula, so this is the $2 formula. And this one's in the shade Bear It All. Um, Andrea Matigliano talks about this shade all the time. I'm not completely sold on it yet, but I've also only tried it like twice. So I'm gonna try this one again. Then I have this Bobbi Brown lipstick in the shade Brocade number 15. Totally not my type of shade, but it's Bobbi Brown, so I want to try it out and see if I like it. Then I have this Essence Long Lasting Lipstick in the shade 06. Really do enjoy this one, and it's from an affordable brand, Essence, and I really like to support this brand, so I like that one. This one is also from Essence, and it is the Matte 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 formula in 02. Love this one. I want to get more of these ones. So pretty. So, so pretty. Then I got this one from Lipland, and it is in the shade Mocha. Love this one. If you guys have ever had a Lipland lipstick, like, they're so creamy, and they just glide right on. They stay on. I really do love these Lipland ones. Then I have these three Ulta ones. This is the Nude Formula in the shade Pink Chocolate. There it is there, super pretty, keeping that. Then this one is in the shade Bronze Beauty. I think I only swatched this one. Yeah, it's like a very orangey nude, which I'm gonna try that one out. And this one's in the shade, what shade are you? Touch of Pink. This one's really pretty too. Super similar colors, but as you guys can tell, I'm a more nude lipstick kind of girl. Then I have these two. Oh, I forgot HD Sand. So these two are the Revlon HD color lipsticks or whatever. And I have three colors. So this one's HD Pink Cloud. This one's HD Desert. And then I have HD Sand. And that one's at work. But HD Pink Cloud is just like a pink color there. These ones are really good. If you guys are looking for a super good drugstore choice, this one's it. Because these ones, I mean, the color selection sucks. But these are really, really good. These ones I've been wearing nonstop. <laughs> I love these. These are from Wander Beauty, and I got this in that sample kit from Sephora. This is the Dual Wonder La What is it? Wonder Wander Out Dual Lipstick, and this is in the shade BB. I like this one a lot, but I love this one. This one's in Nikki Beach, and it's like this bright color. Who wears this in the winter time? Apparently, I do. But I'm loving this in this formula. I've never even heard this brand before, Wander Beauty. And I searched up some of their stuff and I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of their lipsticks and try them out. I love, love this so far. So then I have this Color Is Bay Lip Crayon in Dusty Rose from Elizabeth Mott. And I really do like this. Whenever I wear it, it's such like a weird brick pink red color. I don't even know how to describe it, but I really do like this, so I'm going to keep that. Then I haven't, I can't really tell if I like these or not. These are the Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip Colors, and I have the shades Toffee Frappe, Berry Tails, and Nude Streak. So I think Nude Streak was too light for me. Yeah, that like orangey Nude is really pretty, but it was way too light for me. This one in Berry Tails is really pretty pink color. Just like a plain pink. I like these crayon formulas, but I don't know. And then this one is Toffee Frappe. This one was really pretty. This one worked for me. But I'm gonna th I think I'm going to keep these two and keep trying them out a little bit further. Then I have these three Pure Lip Lure Hydrating Lip Lacquers, and I have the shades Mystic, Graceful, and Fancy, and I can tell you right now I'm keeping all three of them. So this one's Mystic, like a berry color. Graceful is this mauve nude color, 
And then, oh, I'm sorry, that wasn't graceful. That was fancy. Fancy is that one. I, I was going to say, man, I thought graceful was more brown. So graceful is this brown color right there. I love all of these formulas. They are starting to turn though. So I'm going to put these in my little cup holder on top of my dresser to make sure I use these because they're starting to get really old and I need to use these up. Then last but definitely not least are my oh, Too Faced melt, Melted Metal liquidified lipsticks. I have two of the melted metal, one of the melted chocolate, and two of just the regular melted formula. So these two are the same color, <laughs> Chihuahua, and I really do like these. I think I have used both of them, but let's see. Yep, I've used them both, which is totally understandable. I'm going to use these up. Then this is the melted chocolate in the shade Chocolate Honey. Love this one. This one's in Melted Metallic Peony. And this one's always so weird because like when I try to bring... Oh, no, not this one. This one's brand new. I haven't even used this one, clearly. So I'm going to keep this. But this one, this is the one I was talking about. It's Melted Metallic Tutu. And every time I squeeze this, it's just like so like clear. Oh, of course, now it's not going to be clear because I just mixed it up. But it's, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. I'm going to keep it. Oh my god. I didn't declutter anything. So basically, that was just me so showing you swatches of everything in my collection because I only got rid of five things. Yeah. So I'm not very good at decluttering lip products apparently because I love them and I have a lot of fun with them. And they just bring me joy. So as long as it's bringing me joy, then why not, right? So anyways, these are all of my lipstick colors that I have. And yeah, I guess that was it. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Now I get to organize all of this wonderful stuff. And make sure to subscribe if you're not already and check out the description bar down below to see any more declutters from me by category. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and we'll see you next time. Bye.